Get ready to see more calorie counting at your favorite restaurant, grocery store, even at the movie theater. That's right. The Food and Drug Administration is instituting widespread food labeling that will affect what food you buy. Diane Cho has the details. Soon you won't be able to use the excuse that you just didn't know how many calories were in that cookie you were eyeing at the grocery store. I think it's a great idea. That's because the Food and Drug Administration announced new rules today forcing restaurant chains, grocery stores, and movie theaters to post a calorie content on their menus or menu boards. Well, I think you need to know what you're getting when you buy it. Since it became a law in 2010 under the Affordable Care Act, grocery stores and convenience stores argue that they shouldn't have to be included. The goal is to try to help people make healthier decisions when they go out to eat in an effort to combat obesity. I look at the, uh, you know, the labels. On on all the things that I buy in the grocery store, so I probably get used to doing that too, you know, and it might make me more aware. Places like McDonald's already post a calorie count information on many of their drive through menus, but will it actually help? Having those things posted and available might make people think, well, maybe I should eat half of that muffin, or maybe I should skip that and do something different. So what's included and what isn't? Well, it only applies to businesses with 20 or more locations. Here are a few examples of where you'll start seeing it. It will include alcoholic drinks on menus, along with most prepared foods in grocery stores or convenience stores. But it won't apply to independent restaurants with fewer than 20 locations, nor will it include food on airplanes, trains, or food trucks. Businesses will have one year to comply with the new regulations, so you may start seeing information about how many calories are in your favorite sub at your grocery store soon. In Arlington, Diane Show, ABC 7 News. That's it now.